So now let's think about how to identify the right funders. The most important thing with funding is to act early. Don't wait until you're in a funding crisis. Your funding plan should help you to do this by enabling you to look ahead and to plan your applications in plenty of time. It's a good idea to look regularly at funding databases and sign up for funding newsletters. You'll find some useful links in our funding fact sheet. In this way, you can build up your own knowledge and information about what funders are out there and what ones you think are best placed to fund your work. All funds will have criteria, both in terms of the type of organisations they want to fund and the kind of activities they want to fund. So check out both very carefully. Ask yourself, does your organisation meet the criteria? And do the activities you want to do meet the criteria? If you're unsure, then contact the funder to check. Some funders will offer to chat through your idea with them. And if so, you should take up the opportunity. In this way, you can build up a relationship with the funder and they can give you clear advice about whether your idea fits with what they want to fund and tips on how to complete the application. Remember to take a note of everything they say so that you can use it when you're writing the application. Be clear about what each funder will fund. Some funders will only fund projects or specific pieces of work, while others are happy to only fund core costs, for example, your running costs, venue, heating and lighting, phone bills, IT equipment, and your staffing costs, so costs for all your staff, including finance or admin workers. Some funders will fund both project work and core costs. Dependent on what each funder funds, you may need to bid to more than one funder. In order to do this, it's important to know how much everything costs, so you should draw up a budget. If you need help doing this, then please see module seven. If you're applying for project funding, you may also be able to add in a proportion of your core costs for your running costs and staff costs. This is called full cost recovery, and please see our fact sheet for more information.